I am the biggest I've probably been, maybe ever. So we've got to put on as much as we can and push. You will know who that is anyway. Well, that's Rob who owns it. Rob is one of the best bodybuilders in the UK by far. Get a little bit softer, getting sloppier. I typically don't like it. Um, but it's part of the parcel. You've got to get thicker, you've got to get softer, you've got to push the boundaries. Basically, Gaz just said it for me, that I'm fat. <laughs> no, I was just saying before we started filming, literally about 10 seconds ago, that I'm going to have to explain all of a sudden why my face is fatter. And that's what Gaz said. Yeah, I was about to say that, actually. Which is really nice of him. Cheers, Gaz. Nice guy. Uh, but I am noticeably... Uh, what's the word you use for it, Gaz? Thicker. Thicker. I'm noticed it'd be th I'll take that. Thicker. And the reason for that is um, actually I've got my coach over there. He can explain if he wants. Dave's not here, so okay. Ken's taking over. Co coach tagged in. So we decided that it would probably be best for Lou to take a bit of time rather than jumping into what was it, Prague and Austria? Yes, which was like the end of the year, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. His physique would have been pretty much the same going into those shows as what it was coming off the back of winning the pro card. But there's a hell of a big show in March um, that I personally feel he is going to do very, very well in if he gets accepted and um, had to speak with him. And I believe that with the way he trains and with the application he's got between now and the start of the year, there's a great opportunity there to make massive improvements to the physique and to be even more competitive at the pro level. He would have been competitive at pro level, uh, coming off the back end of winning the card, but he's gonna be right up the top now when it comes to this pro show, I believe. So I'll let him tell you what one it's gonna be. There you go, that's what the boss man reckons. You just follow the boss's instructions. I have applied for the Arnold Classic UK, which is in March. Now, if anyone doesn't know, you won't know this either, guys, I don't think. You can't just end certain animals, you can't just, it's not like in any, any other pro show, the, there's only two shows that you can't just go and do, it's the Olympia and the Arnolds, and the Olympia is qualification only by winning a pro show, and the Arnolds is through invitation, which you apply for, so I've put my application in, I'm on the list to be potentially selected, I don't know, being a new pro, how likely that is, so we're going to grow and prep as if I am doing it, if I don't get accepted, then we'll pick maybe somewhere we want to travel, the country we want to travel, or a show that is within a high tier still, or high standard still, and go and do that at a similar time of the year to see where I stand anyway. So that is the plan. Basically means that I am like, in comparison to 107 kilo last video, uh, 115 now. Yeah, so just bear in mind it has been, I don't know, like a month? We have been pushing hard because we don't have that long to, to obviously grow. We've only got to the end of the year now. Um, I worked it out, you know, it's, it's not even, it's like, how many did I put, like, it's something days? Been, it's two months. The very start of January, start there. Yeah, yeah, so I've basically only got whatever's left in now in October and then November, it's, December, that's it. Yeah. So we've we got to put on as much as we can and push. And I don't mind even getting a little bit sloppier than usual just because of the time frame that we've got. To, to try to get any potential muscle that I can. Because um, I do think any sort of, even minuscule bits of muscle on my physique can just give me that, maybe that edge. Today, by the way, we're off. Let's go. We're going to, uh, a lot of people who watch this will know, Rob Taylor, uh, the muscle unit gym, which is, I've been to twice before. I've trained with Pav, uh, who's the manager there, I think. Kenny's not been before. And Kenny's a bit of a, well, we both like our equipment. So I think a good idea would be to use these as well videos to try out a load of different gyms and we'll let you know what we think about the gyms. We'll tell you what's good about them, why we should go there, what equipment's good and what the differences are. Cause there's loads of different uh, gym equipment in the, in the UK, especially around this area. Right, let's go. This is can't reach seat belts very easily anymore. That's oh, okay. Like, what, are you struggling with that? Yeah, yeah wow. It's the tightness through the shoulders, it's worse than it is. I filmed myself putting my socks on the other day so I could watch it back and laugh at how funny it was. Yeah, he does that for me. Yeah, do you know what? It's weird how little energy you have, isn't it? Yeah. Like, There's like that, that couple of weeks yeah. show where if you gain the 
because you've got more energy, you've got more food, but then it very quickly gets to the point where you're just as tired in the off season as what you were in the prep because you have to digest all that food. So over the weekend, I noticed it the worst. Whenever I ate anything like the how hot I'd Sweat. be, yeah. I'm sweating. I think you need to shoulders are tight, and that's what's doing this. What are yours or mine? Mine. Yours will probably tight as well. Nah, my shoulders aren't tight, but I can almost touch them. <laughs> wait, wait. How far back can you get? When I done uh, side tricep and checking yesterday, I was doing this. I, I was doing this. <laughs> is that far? That is shocking. Man. Is that far? That felt quite far. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why are you laughing at? What's going on? Turn around. That's good to be fair. How far can you get? I think mine's worse than Kenny's. Yeah, but that's cheap because Kenny's body's about that big. <laughs> <laughs> are you still to do? Are you still to my arms? Yeah. Yeah, alright. I've never used any of this. So I don't even know how it works. It's all new equipment. Hey, Josh. Very sick, Jim. Oh, what do you think of the new belt, Gaz? Like the new belt? Custom made belt, huh? It's got my name on it, all. I'm going to read it. What do, you, what do you need to ask you for? Come on, pay attention. It's a good belt, huh? Got it made. It was from Gunsmith. Gunsmith. I'll put a link below on the thing and you can have a look. I'm good mate, yourself? Nice to see you bro. Looking good as always. Oh, nice well, man. Yeah, bro, hey man, how you good doing? Tomorrow, nice babe. to meet you. Hey darling, you alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Come to try out some of the bits you've got mate. It's only an hour for me, I didn't even realise. Back day back. today and then, hi. Just put into the Arnold's. I don't, know, I don't know if I'll get accepted for that, but I'd rather I'd rather try on. Say on camera, man. Look up at UK. Are you comfortable? You put weights on, like as in pumps and stuff. Uh, my back pain shit. Mine's a bit horrible. I've ne every time I get past a certain point, yeah, yeah. I feel it in in the wrong areas. Yeah, but yeah. that's just something I've got to do. I'm gonna have to. I never struggle eating. Big eater. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah I mean, fucking see that. Eater. The thing with me is I can't put my socks on. Uh, yeah. And yeah, yeah, point yeah. And I'm like, I did yeah, but even really when you're like, heavy. Heavy for me, like. even when you're like that though, you're still in mad condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's but weird, I hold, uh, I hold it like on my lower back. Really? You know what I mean? like I've got a, a good midsection, but my lower back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. legs all get a bit uh -huh. watery, and I think for me, mate, it's just not good fit. Yeah. If it affects my performance in the gym. Mm -hmm. That's I enjoy training. Yeah. And I think, you know what I mean? If I come at gym, mate, and I'm already dreading doing certain exercises, you know, I'm comfortable with that bad of Well, when you've already got that much muscle, though, right? Any yeah. more than that's going to feel shit anyway, innit? I'm just a crossfit now, bro. I'm not mate, honestly. I've been doing some bad shit. Fuck that. I'm not built for that. <laughs> I'll try and get massive for another couple of years. See how I do. See how I do. Robert, always a pleasure, mate. Always. Always. Cool your pleasure. session. Thank you, mate. Appreciate well, it, mate. You're welcome anytime, Daddy, guys. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. So that was, if you didn't know, you will know who that is anyway, but that's Rob who owns it. Um, I'd say Rob is definitely one of the best bodybuilders in the UK by far. Um, just for his experience over the years, like when I was getting into bodybuilding when I was first starting, Rob was someone that was doing, you know, winning the British, um, doing really well in the UK. So. He's been around for years. Someone that, someone's advice you definitely want to listen to and follow. He's very successful in business, very successful in bodybuilding. Um, so he's definitely someone to look up to in the sport for sure. It's nice that uh, for him to come over and say hello, I suppose. His gym is full of kit that we don't have down where it's we not train. Heavy. Completely different. So just to have the option to come in and use different bits of machines. Especially for me, like my back's not the strongest of sort of, I struggle to get a strong connection is what I'm saying on my back in comparison to some of the body parts. So coming and using different kit for me on my back is a very good way of feeling different bits of my body.
Go on. Yep. On the gate. Come on. Keep working. More. Right, now we're then. Yeah. Come on, another one. I've got you. In we go. And again. Come on. Pull. Chicken shit. Practically did that last rep for me as well. One more. Go on then. Let's go. Take it. Go. One thing we are trying to do at the moment is a little bit more, not, not necessarily old school, but like your bread and butter movements in training. Today, the compound of this session is a barbell row, which I don't think that many people really do a barbell row nowadays, to be honest with you, but it is something that I feel quite well. Um, and I've never really run it for long. So we've actually been doing these for the last few weeks since we switched over to growing, and I've been enjoying them. Then come on, Ruth. Big set. Easy work. Come on. Oh, fucking solid. Solid set. Oh. Let's go, Kenny. Come on. Nice. Oh. He's moaning, isn't he, Kenny? Always moaning and complaining about the exercises. See, I, I pick the exercises that I find tough. Kenny writes the programs. I pick the exercises I think tough. He writes all the exercises that he, that he likes that I don't like. <laughs> I'm making him do some of my exercises today. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you eat my straps there. <laughs> <laughs> Either more hamstrings in the legs because we got EP, yeah, or do the hamstring proportion oh, with the next you, uh, pool session. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do um, some biceps on today. Yeah. If we do a rear delt after this, then some biceps. Yeah. So, we're doing a little superset for your delts. Little tip on this, right? I find it quite easy to connect with my rear delts. It's something I've always thought about when performing this. Rather than pushing your hands back, push the outside of your hands to the outside walls. So there. Because you're trying to work the rear delt. If you come too far back, you're gonna incorporate the muscles in your back as well. And you wanna keep the tension on here. So, here, here, pushing this outwards, not back. So we're supersetting these that with face pulls. That giving me so much food. Uh, and with these, 
The tip is to drive your elbows high and wide. So up and wide, oh. up and out, hitting the rear delt. Don't pull in and close and try and pull directly too far towards your forehead. Oh. Elbows high and oh. wide. Fist pumps. Oh, <laughs> double. Let's see what you're looking like, mate. This will be the fattest that I've probably been on the YouTube. So you're about to see full, full off-season um, Lewis mode, which is a bit weird because the last video we did, we were talking about entering prep and being like eight, seven, eight weeks out, I think I was. So to now be on the opposite end of the scales and be reasonably soft is probably going to be a bit of a shock on YouTube. But you'll get used to it. This is all part of the process. We've got to get big. I didn't want to take my fucking joggers off and you made me. He's been ballerina, so he's been fighting with me. However, it's necessary. I am the biggest I've probably been, maybe ever. Um, and obviously, I'm reaching for new sort of extreme goals within the sport. The people that I'm going to be up against are, are very, very big, big guys. So at some point, I am going to have to to really push myself to try to, you know, get to their level, um, which is something that I'm admittedly not very good at in the past is kind of pushing up this way trying to gain the size trying to get a little bit softer getting sloppier i typically don't like it um, but it's part of the parcel you've got to get thicker you've got to get softer you've got to push the boundaries especially you know now that i am in the pro leagues there's going to be less time where i'm going to want to take out to grow so any time that i get i really want to make the most of so we're going to have to push which is why we're doing what we're doing at the minute I think I look okay, I've still, still got some abs. Triceps are still somehow lean. Fucking hell, Kenny. That looks great. <laughs> because when you get in it as well, you look good. So this is Reese. Reese is one of our guys at Team Ascent. So when we're out and about traveling at gyms, and me and Kenny do get all over the place, Sheffield, Manchester, Leeds, Barnsley here today. And we're just planning on going much, much more places because we've got clients all over. We'll always ask the clients that we know that are around the area if they want to come and see us and we can have a look at them in person. So Reese was nearby today. We told him we were training, he's come down so we can have a look at him. Reese is one of our natural lads competing next year. So he's just got back from his holiday. Um, did he get back this morning? Yeah, he to. <laughs> he got back this morning, but he's come to see us. So he's straight off the plane, back into plan. And we've got the rest of the year to put some more size on him. Let's have a look at some poses, bro. Wow. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, look, and then, yeah. Look at that, bang, then chop, chest up, abs tense. Can I? Look at the difference there with all of that. Do you know what I mean? The thing step back because like, you're, you're not use. shallowing all that off. Yeah, you look like you're almost twice as high. Yeah. So just when you're in that, puff the lap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The thing is, when when we started, this is the main. He didn't have arms like that at no, all. Like, chest, and he, yeah. his last split was arm delt lap. Mm -hmm. It's arguably one of his strongest what? areas now. So it's what? like. His legs are, are, are reasonable, and they will be in balance when he's come down. The thing is with his legs is he doesn't hold as much, he doesn't hold no way near as much body fat on his legs. No, not See what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't hold loads on his legs. I think it won't, if you were to strip down, this would get so much tighter. Oh, yeah, but he's got that. I mean, kind of natural looking men's physique upper wing. He has. We're gonna get all the team together all have a training session, maybe all go for a bite to eat and stuff and chill. 
so it's going to be good. So we're going to get everyone together, but I'll put dates in the yeah, chat. So just let us know when things are to up. Uh, it is... Ooh, my name, which is... You better all be careful. See anyone out in public. I go around my leaflets as well in town now. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, please. <laughs> so that is... Session done. Bit of back. Bit of back, bit of eyes, bit of rears. Standard session. We would normally do a little bit of hamstring today, but... Oh. If you noticed, I don't know if I actually said about it or I was moaning about it, but I happened. The <laughs> <laughs> um, back pump, though. Fuck. Yeah, like I've had a bit of an injured lower back, so it's no injured. It's just sore. Maybe it's just sore. I it's think just it's uncomfortable. Um, it could also be due to the fact that I am the heaviest that I've ever been at the moment, and I am due yeah. a bit of a deload. So we we got done what we could, but it was still a good session. And to tell you what, what do you think to the Panats? Loved it. Loved I would, it. I would honestly say some of that, like yeah. especially that lap uh -huh. pull down there, was probably one of the yeah. nicest pull downs really nice. that I've, I've felt. I would seriously say, if you've not tried Panatta stuff, come here yeah. in Barnsley, try Rob's gym. It is the the, the, the kit is mm -hmm. top notch. Very very good to be fair. Feels set up as so well. smooth. The other thing as well is I didn't have to excessively load that to feel it really well, which is always loads nicer. That's how we're looking as well. Obviously got a little bit of a look at both of us. Kenny's in the same position as me. We're both kind of using the time that we've got as... To grow yeah, efficiently. Basically just letting each other dictate what we believe that yeah. each other should be doing. Letting mm -hmm. each other look after each other, working together. The same as we do with our team. You've seen Reese in there. We both, me and Kenny, have hands on with Reese. The same as we do with each other. The same as we do with all the lads and the girls that we've got. Good community, good vibe that we've got going on at the moment. So we just want to keep growing that and keep that going. The next video that we film, I think we may film some form of eating, full day of eating, let you know what my diet's looking like because I've obviously put on all this weight since you've last seen us. You might as well get a, a little bit of a glimpse into what you, we have to eat to actually try to get this up and to, to maintain Or if this. you're feeling brave enough, you could do a challenge. I'm definitely not feeling brave enough for a challenge. <laughs> if enough people want to see it, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't... I think, <laughs> I don't it, think should, I think it. it should go in the comments. It would be comical. If enough, I, I don't think enough people would comment. I think if, if five people comment. Comment, comment for me to do some sort of challenge, I will do it. Please comment. I will do a challenge. But bear in mind, I'm terrible at these things. You will see tears. You'll see me probably be crying, be <laughs> sick. It's not a good vibe. So, <laughs> aside from that, Stay tuned for the next video. We will do some form of eating video. And also, I am gonna be trying to fill the channel a little bit more. Gaz is still gonna be coming in and working with me a couple of times a month and putting out a couple of sick quality videos for you guys. But at the same time as that, I'm gonna to try to get out just a little bit more, um, what's the word for it? Raw vlogs. Yeah, raw yeah. vlogs. I don't know if you've seen Kenny's stuff, but Kenny made some kind of raw vlogs of Germany just and stuff. on my phone but well, they went down really yeah. really well everyone really enjoyed them so just for me to be able to put a little bit more out so I can a bit I can document a bit more closely what I'm doing as opposed to the, the videos being so spread out yeah. you can see what stages I'm at how I'm looking mm -hmm. what I'm eating a little bit more regularly and then Gaz can come in and blow you away with some videos in between so that's kind of the gist of what we're going to be doing on the YouTube and then if you do want to see even more head over to Kenny's which I'll put a link in He'll be putting some stuff on his as well. See you on the next one.